Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. My name is Darren Meredith, I'm a Canva certified creative. And in today's video, we're gonna have a look at how you can use Canva to make your designs move. Three ways, in fact, of how you can make your designs move in Canva. So let's dive into Canva and have a look. Okay, I've got open here a template. This is a Facebook post. It was just a fairly static looking post. And I thought, how can we make this move more? How can we kind of like add some animation, add some kind of like, dynamicness to it and I thought right well the first thing we can do is we can look at the elements on the screen and I don't know if you've noticed but Canva have this amazing option where you can actually animate static images and it depends on the elements that are on the screen so if we just click on this element here this is the animate option and there's several options here there's block fade pan rise tumble stumble baseline pop neon and scrapbook my favourite one is the rise option and as I say you've got block, fade, neon's really kind of like funky as well. I like that one and that's the way you can animate those and so you can come up here and next to where you've got the option there you can edit the timing so you can make this longer or shorter and that will determine how long your video is going to be when you download it and upload it or publish it to Facebook or wherever you're publishing your design to, that's how long your video will be. It'll animate for that amount of time. Now, as we click on this, you can click play to see how this is gonna animate and that's how quick it comes on. And you'll see that each of these elements, as I scrub backwards and forwards, each of these elements comes on individually but what if we want to change that a little bit? Well, you can. If I group the two teacups together, so I'm just selecting the two items there and grouping them together, now when we come to play, you can see the teacups come on together. So that's a way that you can change or manipulate your design so that different things are coming on in the order that you want them to, which is a really good technique. So you can adjust those and the other thing you can do if you want to have multiple pages so if i say i set this one to four seconds if i wanted to have this come on and have a different saying here so a cup of coffee is an excuse to share so just for the speed of this i'm going to change this down to two and a half seconds so now you'll see this is two and a half seconds and as I scroll down to page two, you can see that's four seconds. So the two and a half and the four seconds gives you the total of six and a half seconds. Now, when you're downloading your video, you can either download just one page, or if you download all the pages, they'll all play in sequence of each other. So let's just give a demonstration of that. So there you go, a cup of tea, and then a cup of coffee. Fantastic. So that's a way that you can add multiple bits and multiple information to your design. It's a great way to animate, create small, simple, animated videos for your social media. The second way that you can add animation is by adding animated elements. So let's have a look. If we come into elements, if I want to come for cup animated, you can see here, there's lots of different things that you can add that are animated. Now, sometimes if you come in and you choose something that's animated, if I just type in animated, it's their static image and you're thinking, well, hang on a minute, but that's because they're animation style designs. What you can do is you can come into the area here and you can choose either static or an actual animated design. And you can also choose free and pro and choose the color as well. These are now all the designs with animated on them. And you can just scroll down these and choose something that you want to add. And if you want to, you could add these stars here. You can drag them over and then I find that's fantastic. The other thing that you can do is the cup animated. So you might just want to drag that over. It doesn't have to be that size. Drag that element over, so there you go. So we've got a couple of animations on here. So now when we click play on here, you can see that these animations repeat for the length of the time. If you've got a repeating animation, so if you wanted it to be 10 seconds long, you can just come in, you can change it. You can either drag the slider here or you can type in here. It's in multiples of half a second. So if I wanted it to be for 10 seconds, I could do. And now the animation, so you can see here, it's gonna rise onto the screen. 
and then once it's risen onto the screen these elements that are on there are going to just keep looping until the end of the 10 seconds and that's how long your video will be and there's a whole bunch of other elements that you can choose if you find something that you like and you want to see what else is available from that design you can click on the three dots above the animated design and you can choose on the keywords or you can choose more click on the link here and that'll give you more from that designer and you can just type in it'll give you the long link here and if I type in cup so these are all the cup elements that you get available I like that one coffee glasses let me know in the comments are you a coffee person or are you a tea person personally it depends I drink a lot of tea during the week and generally on a Saturday or a Sunday morning I like to just brew up a nice cup of coffee and just sets the mood for the weekend for me the third way you can add movement to your designs is by adding video now you can either upload your own video or you can use the stock library that's available if it's your coffee shop or your shop or your business it'd be fantastic to add your own media on there and add your own video now I want to get rid of this I'm gonna get rid of these coffee cups here as well I'm gonna get rid of this coffee cup I'm gonna select these elements and move them up and I'm just going to change this to coffee morning every TU is day 2 p.m. Okay, so let's come into the video side here and let's just have a look for coffee. There we go. And then in the elements here, you can choose from free or pro. Let's just add in there a little video. And I'm going to just change the position of that to center. Now, when we come on, you'll see we've got the rise. So if I take the rise off, you can see that this is 18 seconds long and I can change the clip duration of this just by highlighting it and then I can just change that. So if I only wanted it to be 10 seconds long, I can do that. I can just drag that in, it's 10.9 seconds, but I can just drag that into 10 seconds. And then if I do in the middle, you see the hand changes in the middle and that allows me to change where the clip starts and ends but if I only want 10 seconds let's just say we want that middle section so that's now 10 seconds but say I want it to still animate on the screen you can still do that and that then lets us to do this and that video will then play on your video or when you export it or publish it to your Facebook. So many ways you can publish now. You can use the scheduler in Canva and you can also just click on publish to Facebook here, link your accounts up and that'll link it and send it straight to your business page. So in summary, we've got animate the elements on the screen using the animation feature. We've got using animated elements and then we've got using video. And those are the three main ways that you can add movement to your designs in Canva. So thank you very much for joining me today. It's been really wonderful having you here and thank you very much for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about me, you can follow along on my tutorials on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Darren M. Or if you want to find out more about me, it's darrenmeredith.co.uk forward slash bio. Until next time, bye for now.